Nostalgia is the world's premier online digital club for culture exclusively designed for sneaker enthusiasts. Using Slack as the base platform, Nostalgia is set up as an exclusive membership-only group in which sneaker enthusiasts can join to get all of their latest sneaker news and hang out, share, engage, and debate in Sneaker Talk, an exclusive community where you can engage, network, and build relationships. Your sneaker customizers, your sneaker shop owners, your collectors, your vloggers, your historians, all engaging and networking together under one digital roof. So what we got here is our NFL walls. As you can tell, we got gloves of every NFL team and they'll scroll through of all the guys that have played in the NFL for those teams. Our big board here, our touch screen here. So what you can do is you can pick your favorite NFL team, Texans, and it'll pop up and it'll show you all the guys that have played for the Texans that have been here. Um, and then you can obviously click on them, give you more information. You can also go by players. If you got just a player name, you know, you can pick. Really cool area here with the guys from each NFL team, who they were drafted by, their names. Some of our guys have given some of their helmets, shoes, cleats, Jason Witt and Eric Berry, Cordell Patterson, Juwan James. Now I'm sure they treat Peyton like a god here, but who would you say are the you know top two or three people that they treat with the utmost respect here? We've been very lucky. We've got a lot of traditions at Tennessee, and you know from rock the top and the checkerboard and the power tee and the color and putting guys in the leagues is another one of our traditions. And now for my favorite part of the facility, this wall that I'm sure any recruit probably signs like on the dot when they see this, right? <laughs> this hits you right as you walk in. Obviously this is one through 30. 31, 32 on the wall. What's your favorite out of them? I think I gotta go with the nines. So this is Coach Saban's pyramid of success. And he's used this everywhere he's coached. What we've got here is the season schedule for the year and on every row you'll see some sayings. If you do everything that's on those rows, when you get to the top, you'll be a champion. And what'll happen is the, the week of that game, that team's block will stay up in the team meeting room. Game day, it'll move, it'll be in the locker room on an easel. If we win the game, the block will go back, signed by the team, it'll go back up on the wall. Now, if we were to lose a game, I hang on to it, and it's just a hole in the wall. You can see on this wall starting in 2007, this is every win since Coach Saban has been here, signed by every member of that team. Well, if you come in here, this kind of little recruiting area to kind of show off what we have. Got some older style shoes in here. This is one of my all time favorites right here. This is the very first Moonlight Ultra Boost what we did. It's like the classic Ultra Boost. Tell me about working with Adidas. We haven't done many Adidas yeah. schools. Describe their relationship with you guys. They're so awesome to work with, man. They help us out a lot. I mean, they're always on the spot. They help us with new designs of alternate uniforms, especially like the throwback uniforms. Like they love the classic a &M look. They love the history it has behind that. So they take that into effect. Some places don't have the history that, that we do. We're very core valued. So we've got a great tradition here at Colorado. Um, great tradition of excellence, great award winners. This is our legacy hall here, an area where we have our All-Americans on the wall, some of our individual award winners. One of the neat traditions here I like to talk about is our bricks. Any win versus a top 25 opponent or big wins in our history are known as brick games. This campus is built on stone and we wanna build our legacy brick by brick. So we've got the bricks here. We've got a great interactive display here. You can cycle through big wins throughout the years. This was a great one for the Pac-12 right here at Oregon 2016. Just a great way to show our history and tradition here at the university. We're actually in what we call the tunnel experience here. This is where we set up our recruiting photo display. A lot of our different shoes that the kids have had an opportunity to wear. 2016, we became the first football school to incorporate the Jordan brand as part of our new Nike contract that year. It opened up a whole new world of, of cleats. In the last three years, they've actually added a different cleat that became their, their game cleat for the year. We used the one this year, Jordan one, looking forward to see what we do next year. And then these are some of the PE shoes they've acquired as well as some of the retail retros that we've used for, uh, for travel, for our international trips. Now, over in this area, this is something we've never seen. Every program highlights their NFL players, but this is another level. So this is something new that they just did where you've got the NFL helmet. You know, it's a full replica size helmet. 
and on the visor. So it projects the name of the player, their position, and the year that they were drafted. And it just rolls through all those players. So instead of having a hard permanent place with their name on it, this is something that constantly is rolling through. It's just a very unique way to show everybody that's in the NFL. I'll be honest with you, when we designed this space, this was the number one priority. We think that we got the biggest bang for the buck with our Jordan shoe wall. These are retro Jordans that the Jordan brand made. They're one of ones. They go one all the way to now 33. And then the middle row of stuff that the Jordan brand has done for us, like these were end of season retros, two lows, and those are the 32s from last year. The first retro they ever gave us were the fours. The only time those were worn on the floor was Marcus Page's senior night. And then the 33s, and we just recently got those fours. And then uh, Coach Williams likes to keep these up here because these were made for him by Michael Custom Golf Shoes. So he's obviously a big golfer. Now, Kenny, everyone loves sneakers, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone loves sneakers, and, and I'm seeing a wall of what would be a lot of people's holy grail. <laughs> I like to tell people, you know, our relationship with Nike is second to none. You know, a lot of people refer to this place as Nike University. We're blessed to, you know, have them gift us with, with some shoes and take care of our athletes with some heat. We used to be able to do this uh, kind of like this jump duck on the back. From what I've, I've been told, Mr. Jordan wasn't a big fan of changing around the jump man. So kind of had to go away from that look. So Ken, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Yep. You've been here for, what, eight years now? Yeah, yeah eight years. Yeah. I want you to rank them. Oh, Rank okay. them all. I'm a fours guy, so I would probably go, this is 1A and this is 1B for me. I like threes a lot too. You know, it's just really clean and really good with the, I like the duck feet on the back. But you gotta love fives. This one's a little gotten a little faded over the years just being out, but uh -huh. it's nice and bright green. And then, the, you know, the black fives are really good. I love these 14s just because they got the duck like in Boston and the, and the suede. And then these 13s, man. Mostly this part is just to kind of display the amount of stuff we're going to do. You know, you'd probably be in something like uh, a Vapor, okay. so something like this, or, you know, this is another really popular model of Alpha Menace Elite. So just depending on how much ankle support you would like. This is just a wow factor, to be honest with you. It's just an opportunity for people to see recruits, players, parents, the possibilities of if you perform at the right level, you do the right things in college, what's possible? And, and, and that's the NFL. And when you touch a helmet and you hold your hand on it, on the screen, teams will come up. And what that does for a recruit when he's walking into this amazing facility, it's just the envisionment of being able to play at that level one day. It can happen if you do your job. Everything is strategic around here. Now here's the true bling right here. Yeah, yeah, so, so this is where all of them are. So these are all of the national championship rings. And they've added this little sliding magnifying glass so you can, you can slide to any ring and you can look at it under a magnifying glass and really get a, a close up look at them.